So this project is going to be working around but not connecting to 240 volts, so please exercise safety, caution, and common sense. Okay, the mister will now be based on a solar charge controller, as you can see in the picture, and some other miscellaneous okay, stuff. Here's a basic overview of the system. So I got my water here, a 12 volt pump, and then I spray it on the air conditioner. So I have to get down to 12 volts somehow, and I didn't want to deal with 240 volts and transformers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what I basically came up with is a solar charge controller. I've got a battery laying around the house. So I'm going to hook a solar panel up that's, I don't know, between 24 and 36 volts to the solar charge controller, which will charge the battery and also power the pump here. So when the solar panel's uh, out of the picture and it's cloudy, I can still run the system off of a 12 volt battery. That'll come through here and turn the pump on. And in order for all this to work, the air conditioner has to turn on and the AC to DC uh, converter or uh, rectifier that I have in there will have to rectify that to DC and then the DC will turn 12 volts that will turn the relay on and then that will let the power from either the 12 volt battery or the solar panel or both uh, power this pump that will then uh, spritz the, the air conditioner. So that's a rough overview of how this works from a high level point of view. Okay, here's my setup. So I got a terminal block that kind of breaks all the connections out here to here. Um, also what I put in here is an inline fuse for the PV panel and also the battery. So if there's any kind of short circuit nonsense going on these two fuses should blow and protect the uh, uh, charge controller. So also I have um, my load here and I'll show you how that's working in a second. So basically I'm going to tie in my air conditioner leads here. I found this bridge of rectifier. I had a whole shit ton of these and so I decided to use this instead because it's a lot easier to screw it down and solder the uh, wire to the terminal. So once the AC turns on it gets rectified from roughly 26 volts to probably a little bit less uh, DC. This uh, buck converter will buck it down to 12 volts as it turns on which turns this relay on and so now the uh, load terminal here, when this is on, will basically go through the relay once it turns on and then it will come out here and power the pump. So that way, when the AC turns off, the charge controller can still charge the batteries through the PV and the load shuts off uh, when the AC turns off. The way this is kind of uh, set up is whenever you um, go through the menu, you can choose to have the load on or off and there's some other uh, settings in here I didn't really care for so I couldn't really control the load using the air conditioner so this is the the best way that I found to do this uh, all this stuff is basically laying around my lab I tried not to buy anything um, too extravagant so again trying to use everything that I have here and so I think it fairly turned out fairly decent and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and see how it works. Okay, here's my basic setup um, I kind of made a bridge rectifier here that I'm going to use um, and this is going to basically take in the turn on signal whatever you want to call it from the air conditioner it's going to convert it into a DC voltage which we're going to run basically to these lines here and then once it's uh, rectified this will provide uh, one of these converters here DC to DC converter I had laying around in the lab it's going to convert it to 12 volts and once that 12 volts gets recognized by the relay here. The relay will turn on and then it's going to, later on I'll show you, it's going to connect basically the pump and turn the pump on whenever the air conditioner turns on. So this is a basic setup. There's going to be a little bit more components involved but again basic concept. I'm going to turn it on here with the power supply. Light comes on and maybe you heard the relay click or not. Uh, I'll try it again here so you can see it up close. Okay, here's a little bit closer view. Turn the power supply on. You see the red light come on on the DC to DC converter and then the relay mechanism right here. Close. So that's it in a nutshell. Okay, this is how the system is wired in. So right here is the signal that comes from the inside of your house 
that tells the air conditioner basically these blue and uh, brown wires that go to this contactor switch or solenoid basically it tells the air conditioner to turn on so I'm gonna tie off here the red and white wire to my system and at the same time the air conditioner comes on the mister will come on using the pump so if you're not comfortable with uh, 240 volts AC I suggest uh, don't don't play around with it uh, otherwise if you do know what you're doing good luck if you don't um, bad stuff can happen that's all I'll say all right all right here's the system in action um, powering this uh, 12 volt pump I'm gonna be using the pump the mister with so this is going into here I just like I showed you all this before here's my uh, air conditioner signal that's coming in going in the rectifier and then powering on this DC to DC converter and then turning the relay on so here you can see the panel is powering the battery and also the battery is powering the pump so pumps on for I don't know looks like a second or so every five seconds so here I got a couple rain barrels lined up and end up building a manifold to connect all these so right now I just got the pump kind of jury rigged with an inline filter here it filters out most of the uh, debris that comes off the roof that the first flush filter misses and then a uh, calcium type mist filter I'm sorry calcium filter that filters the rest of the uh, debris out so there's the fitting kind of cockeyed there I had to do that so I can get the hose on and it runs all the way up to the air conditioner so now I'm not using uh, regular utility water and just using rain water All right, so now I got this working. I'm gonna put it in an enclosure and box it up, so I'm make it weatherproof, and uh, also here's the battery that it's charging. So it's a old uh, Autocraft battery. Just using this to run the pump. Everything to be working well. The uh, finished product here. Uh, it's got a kind of hidden underneath my solar panel. To, block it from light and heat. I put on some uh, strain reliefs here. So I got all the wires going through the strain reliefs. Um, got some temperature data on this too. I think maybe in the future I'm going to go ahead and put in some ventilation because it's uh, 95 degree day. It's almost 100 and something degrees inside the, the box and uh, electronics have a tendency not to like to get hot so they'll run cooler and longer if it's uh, if it's if it's cooler on the um, on the electronics so so far so good everything seems to be working as uh, designed so this is a thermal imager snapshot of the box it's behind a solar panel so it's not getting direct sunlight but it's a hundred and something degrees inside the box. I'm not comfortable with that. And if I had it in direct sunlight, it'd be even hotter. So I'm going to go ahead and install some uh, some cooling into this box, and hopefully it'll get a little bit cooler. All right, I wasn't very comfortable with the temperature that all the electronics were achieving in that box. It was getting a little bit too hot for comfort for me. So I wanted to be able to somehow put some active cooling in that box. And I was kind of looking around my lab and I found this little uh, circuit board doohickey that I bought off of Amazon a long time ago. And so what this basically does, there's a temperature sensor here. And that temperature, uh, based on the position of these switches, will kick on uh, this relay, which will provide uh, this 12 volts that's coming in from our power supply into this fan here. So I'm going to use this uh, active cooling to 
be able to cool that box off and uh, keep the electronics a little bit cooler. I just wasn't comfortable with that. So let me show you how this thing works. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, the probe here or the temperature sensor is uh, kind of set to go off at roughly uh, 30C. So I can kind of, like I said, uh, configure that a little bit here with these uh, jumpers and change those settings. And so uh, right now I'll show you how it works. This fan should come on once I uh, heat this probe up so I don't knock everything over and kill myself here in the meantime. All right, so the supply's on. I'll hold my finger on the temp probe and you should see the, the fan kind of turn on and that little LED light will turn on as well. All right, so the light's on, fan's on, this works. Takes a couple, I don't know, 20 seconds to cool off, but definitely should uh, do the job. There's the fan. And now I'm gonna put it in the box and hopefully uh, we'll get some better cooling than what we have uh, right now, which is none. All right, so here's the finished product. Charge controller, relay, temp sensor. Uh, this is a little doohickey I tested earlier and uh, exhaust fan with little hood here and so this is the whole setup it's been working for about three months put a little inlet here I probably got to put a bug catcher on here but other than that it's been working fine for three months charging uh, this battery which runs the pump so that'll be it I'm wrapping it up for the winter and then I'll haul it back out in the summer here's my baller ass design the inlet, the screen cover, all the uh, strain release for the wires, and then uh, there's the uh, outlet for all the hot air to go out. So that's pretty much it. Alright, I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy all the stuff that I have. And hopefully you guys like this. Please subscribe and share, and I'll put some more interesting stuff up later.